In this video I will explain in details how you can customize InstaBuilder opt-in form fields. Let's start with how to display form with an email address field only. First we need to generate the autoresponder code. In this example I am going to use my iContact account to get an autoresponder code in one of my lists. Here I remove the first name field because we want to show email address field only in our InstaBuilder squeeze page. After saving, I am now going to get the autoresponder code. Here I am copying the raw HTML code of the autoresponder, then back at the InstaBuilder opt-in form settings, and paste it. Now let's save the changes, click the update button above. The opt-in form now has an email address field only. Now let's try adding three or more fields in our opt-in form. Here's how to do it. Generate the autoresponder code first. Now we go back to our autoresponder account. Choose the fields that you want to be included. Here in my sample, I chose email address, last name and phone number. Arrange the order of your fields and you must remember them. Then save your changes. Now let's copy the HTML version of the autoresponder code, and paste it back at the InstaBuilder opt-in form settings. Scroll down below and select Advanced Form Integration. The Advanced Field settings will appear below. Now I will match the settings with the one I have at my autoresponder account. This is why it is important that we remember the order of our fields. Make sure the order here is matched with the one in your autoresponder account. You can edit the field label, then save changes, click update button above. An opt-in form with four fields. That is how quick and easy it is to create and edit your squeeze page with InstaBuilder.